Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video. So as you guys know for the last couple of days I've been bringing you money making methods just about every single day And I know so many of you are already getting tired because you're having to switch your restaurants so many different times But as I've said numerous times already I do want to make sure that I find you guys the best money making methods the moment that they do come out And recently I was contacted by one of my really good friends who is also a content creator named emulsifies He went ahead and told me that one of his buddies Vel Carney, which is actually number four on the leaderboards as I am recording this video had came up with an incredible layout that just completely breaks the AI now when I say AI I'm talking about the waiters and the cook as I'm sure you can already kind of see it in the background this is not going to be an easy build compared to all the previous ones and it's really not going to be an easy one for you guys to really wrap your head around I'm going to be trying my very very best to kind of walk you guys through this but if for some reason you do end up getting confused and lost let me know in the comments and I will be able to help you guys out as best as I can now as we always do I'm going to go ahead and give everybody in the lobby a shout out we're gonna go ahead and start off with knk jackpot strong zeb boy super soccer almarez core block imandy Koo, and everybody's favorite mr sunny way over there <laughs> good old creeper sunny so right now we are inside of the restaurant and as you can see there is a lot going on here before we get started i want to say that this is more of an advanced build it's going to cost quite a bit of money in order to be able to make this setup so in reality this is more for the people that are trying to go for leaderboard position if you're trying to get a lot of customers to come in and out of your restaurant so that that way you can make it to the leaderboards and this is the build for you now before we get started the one thing that i do want to point out is i want you guys to completely ignore everything that is on the floor besides the colored blocks that are on the ground the reason for this is because nothing that is laying in the restaurant has any type of purpose the only purpose that it has is to block the ai from walking around the restaurant and staying on the path that i wanted to take so really quickly i'm going to go ahead and do a complete overview so that that way you can understand what exactly is going on so as you can see the waiters are walking up to the tip jar rather than walking all the way to the front door therefore saving at least four or five blocks of space obviously if the waiter is walking a shorter distance that means that a lot less time is being wasted and more customers are being served at a faster rate now the next thing that i want you guys to notice is that customers are no longer exiting exiting through the front door we've now rerouted it to exit on this green block so if you notice customers are all leaving on the green block again this also shortens the distance that the customers travel so that that means the customers are leaving quicker and more are spawning faster now if you notice on the ground there are black squares there are golden squares pink squares and green ones the black squares just represent the outer barriers so if you notice all of the black squares are filled in with fillers every single black square here has something that is blocking it so that that way the customers cannot walk over here and the waiters can't walk over over here the gold squares are the path that i want the ai to walk in and the pink squares are simply where i put bubblegum machines and where i put tip jar the bubblegum machines really don't do anything because on the way out obviously there is no tables here so really the bubblegum machine don't serve a purpose you could very well swap that out with some cactus because that is going to be the cheapest thing that you can use to kind of block out that area now this part is extremely important and why this is really also confusing from the black line all the way outwards you want to make sure that every single block inside of your restaurant is completely filled with something in my case i went ahead and used roses this of course is so that that way once again the ai does not walk off of the path that i wanted to travel in the block that is in the front entrance is four blocks in width and it's five blocks in actual length on the very fifth block this is where you're going to want to go ahead and start your path to walk all the way up to right here now keep in mind i do have the bigger restaurant so my path is going to look a little bit different but i ideally what you want is for it to lead to this setup that you have right over here again please keep in mind that this is for more advanced players so ideally you would want to have the luxury stoves and the luxury dishwashers for the luxury stoves you're going to want to do a four by three setup making this final stove over here a completely hollow thing there's nothing in here there is no stove in here so in total there's going to be 11 stoves lined up with each other now the next part that i'm going to mention is extremely important when you are setting up this corner you want to make sure that you start from the outside inwards because all of your stoves need to be facing inside i'm going to head to my third floor so i can kind of explain to you what exactly i mean by that and yes for this build you will be using every single one of your floors unlike the previous video where you were only using the first floor so i'm 
gonna go ahead and use different stoves so that way i can just kind of show you how it's supposed to be but ideally what you want to do is if this is the corner that we're talking about you want to face them all towards the windows so just like that the reason that you want to start from the outside is because if you notice stoves they have an extra block in front so if i have a stove here I cannot put a stove right in front of it like this because it won't let me due to the fact that there is a stove already in front. So you don't want to start from the inside outwards. You want to start from the outside inwards. So it's basically just as simple as starting it the way that I'm doing it right here. Just like that. Keep doing it all the way until you have all 11 stoves. Now, after you've gone ahead and set up all 11 of your stoves with this one singular one missing, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and line up four of your ordering stations. Once you've lined up all four of those, after that, you're going to want to go ahead and do a little bit of a you right here with your dishwashers all of them facing inwards towards the portal so if you notice right there that dishwasher is facing inwards that one is facing inwards so is that one and so are these two they are all facing towards the teleporter once you've gone ahead and done all of that it's literally just as simple as just going ahead and filling up all of the extra area that i told you but that's pretty much it for the first floor and honestly this is the most complicated part of the entire build because once you get to the second floor it's actually extremely easy on top of that i'm also sure that you guys are keeping track of my money on the bottom right this does make an incredible amount of money given i am using a lot of royal sets we're gonna head on up to my second floor now so if you notice up here this is how i have my second floor set up and obviously i have a lot of royal tables and royal chairs now before i explain to you how to build this i'm gonna explain why it's set up the way that it's set up so if you guys notice the waiters will spawn in the teleporter on the right hand side and then they will work their way to the middle once they've made their way to the middle the waiters will not move from here from this position right here here, they are able to collect every single one of the dishes in all of these tables and they're also able to go ahead and collect their orders from that position as well now if you notice when customers come in they instantly teleport to their seats they don't walk over anything they just walk to the center and then teleport to their seat this is extremely important because this goes again to what i was saying in the first floor it cuts down on walk distance and forces them to instantly sit down another thing that is extremely important is the fact that there are gumballs all the way around when the customers are done eating they will start walking towards the center of the room and right before they go ahead and teleport back to the first floor they will instantly grab a gumball on their way out this also does not require for them to walk up to the gumball they just simply do it from the center of the room so that is the reason why this is set up the way that it's set up now the way you want to do the tables extremely simple go ahead and leave one gap away from the window and set your first table down here and another one right next to it again you can use whatever table you want i'm simply just using royal tables because that's what i have access to right now once once you've done that go ahead and leave one gap straight towards the window and then line up three more tables right next to each other after that make your way back to this table leave one gap here one gap here and then set another table right here for the final one it's going to be exactly across this table that you just placed down and right there you've gone ahead now and set up every single one of the table at this point just go ahead and add your seats on each and every side and you will have the perfect square now just like how we did on the first floor it is extremely important that you fill up every every single block in the room for the sake of testing and getting this done as quick as possible i went ahead and just used everything that i had in my inventory but i did go ahead and cover up every single spot this system repeats every single floor so if we come to my floor three if you notice i don't have any more royal tables or chairs so up here i started to use the tiki tables and the red booths because i just have an abundance of those from all of the other previous builds that we've done but as you can see it doesn't really matter the method still works the same exact way waiters will come to the middle pick up from the center of the room everything and customers will still walk out to the center now unfortunately i didn't get to put gumballs here because like i said i was just trying to get this done as quick as possible so that i had something to present to you guys but ideally every single floor after this video will be set up the same exact way that i have floor two obviously if you cannot afford gumballs then you would go ahead and use the cactuses to cover the outer edges this cactus feels nice in my grass skin okay sunny you weirdo now, as you can see i'm now in my floor number four let's head to floor number five same concept up here let's go to floor number six same exact concept up here this repeats for every single floor now, I know so many of you are going to be asking me in the comments whether this is better than any of my other methods. In my personal opinion, yes, it is better, but it is more of an advanced setup. It's going to require you to have a lot of money to even be able to buy the cheapest filler stuff. And ideally, you want to have the luxury stove and the luxury dishwasher. It can be done with some of the high-tech ones, but to not waste your time, I would highly suggest that you guys check out one of my other money methods. Use that until you have more than enough money to purchase the luxury stoves and the luxury dishwashers, and then come back to this video 
and do this setup now for this one you can go ahead and design whatever you want in these empty areas as long as whatever you're designing fills up every single square so if i wanted to i could go ahead right now and buy a shrine and put it in this corner as long as the shrine is filling up every single block around it then we're good to go obviously you do not want to set any tables or any chairs in this region or any region i do want to be very clear about that because i know that when you see this at first it's going to be extremely overwhelming because when i did go into Velcarni's base it was extremely overwhelming and i couldn't even understand what was going on but the moment that i kind of paid attention canceled everything out i came back to my base and i used different color blocks as the outlining on the floor so that that way i could really understand what was going on i'm doing my very best to go ahead and keep the camera in this angle so that that way those of you that are kind of following along with me you have a very visible way of being able to see the floor and everything but for the most part the most important thing about this entire first floor is this green block you need to make sure that it is this green block it does not work with any of the other ones only this green block if you're standing in the door frame it is the one two three third block down and then it's four blocks down from the window just to be more specific again this is an extremely advanced system i don't want to have to say that so many times but i have to because i know that there will be that one person out there that has one two three floors and has absolutely no money that is then going to be asking me oh well i'm not making any money do not expect to make any of these money methods and instantly start making millions of dollars you need to make sure that you invest your money in order to be able to make more money with my very first money method i was probably making like three hundred thousand to two hundred thousand and then eventually i turned it into what now makes millions i also want to do go ahead and specify that whether you have the bigger restaurant or not game pass doesn't matter you can go ahead and do this with either one of them as a matter of fact it'll probably be even better if you don't have the bigger restaurant game pass but you're not going to be that affected if you do have the game pass so don't worry about that if for some reason you guys end up having too much problems with building this and i see a lot of you asking in the comments i will go ahead and go live and rebuild it all over again so that that way you guys can see me doing it in a live stream but if that's something that you're interested in seeing let me know in the comments and obviously if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel thank you guys so much for 10 thousand subscribers we are literally already on our way to eleven thousand subs which is honestly just thank you I, I know i say this every single time because we've been gaining so many subs the last few days but i just want to say thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it if you are using any of my other money methods do not feel like you need to destroy them and rebuild this one all of the methods that i have uploaded to my channel are very viable and you could go ahead and make plenty of money with them but i am making sure that i keep you guys up to date on the best ones so that way we go ahead and make Make it a fair playing field for every single person that is competing against each other but anyways like always that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video i will see you guys in the next one take care